Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Gore Brew. Hey, listen to that sound for a minute. You hear it? That's the new arcade cabinet. And here it is. It's been about two months. It took us uh, about two months to build this thing from the sketches on the napkin to what you see here. It was constructed all on the computer and then cut out on a CNC machine. And if you had missed our build, you can watch our videos up here. We'll put a, a link to the very first day that this was conceived. And uh, you can take a look back and watch as I cracked this and I had trouble with the buttons and I was wiring it one day and we had some problems back here with the lock. So it was a challenge, but a lot of fun. And now that it's built, um, I'm looking forward to playing this game as well as collecting a few quarters in it all at the same time. Okay. Well, we finished it up. If you, if you noticed, it might look a little bit taller than it used to. We added this entire bottom part on here, and the reason for this is it houses a laptop PC inside there. We had a little problem running some of the games on the Raspberry Pi, so we opted to put a PC in here as well. And um, we'll show you that in just a minute. Here's the uh, the coin the coin slots here and we did a little artwork on it and you can see the lights coming up through there um, you probably remember our control panel that I cracked the crack is still in there and uh, there's the character for that um, overall I think it come out really well we put uh, a piece of aluminum angle up here to keep light from escaping out the back of the marquee and um, that's really about it. So let me flip it around here and I'll open it up for you. Inside here is um, the Raspberry Pi and we can still operate this from just using the Raspberry Pi. It's not hooked up right now but with just a couple cables here and here we can get it going. You can see the homemade eye pack inside there as well as the sound system here on the left and the speakers are above that on each side okay so let me go ahead and open this up for you this is the new addition and this comes off this base we can take this base right off here and you can see that's the um, PC so when we start running some challenging games that need um, better graphics we can turn to that PC instead of the Raspberry Pi so I wanted to see how much power this arcade systems taking up because I plan on leaving it on quite a bit I just wanted to make sure it wasn't taking excessive amounts of electricity so I hooked up this power usage meter call a kilowatt here to the main power line and you can see it's drawing 66 watts and that includes the laptop that powers part of this arcade cabinet and the LCD screen is on this as well and normally this is closed and this is tucked under the machine itself so this this isn't even on so you know with everything going marquee lights and everything 65 watts is is really great um, I don't know if you realize but these light bulbs are 75 watt so that means that one of these 75 watt light bulbs here actually takes more power than this entire arcade cabinet with the laptop running all the marquees running all the lights down here up there the computer the sound system on the side so um, that's quite acceptable. Okay, I just thought I'd share you, share that with you. No.
team, man. Kill the hedgehog. See that? Ooh, there's one out. Woohoo! You'll never get me. Oh, there's a monkey. I had to go back up. So we got these side flippers too. And I'm really glad that we put them on because I like playing pinball. Plus we can program them for other things too. Um, like volume control perhaps. We haven't really set them up for that kind of thing yet, but we could. Ah. Got you now. Look at that. Huh? That's how you do it. Whoa! Well, that's it for the arcade cabinet. We're going to keep it down in our shop in a while and play it and enjoy it. Maybe get a few quarters in it. So, thanks again for watching and take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.